Welcome to the Intuitive Patterns for the month of July 2021. Um, this is a pattern that I use a series of different cards and look at the astrology and play with the numerology and kind of come up with a, a metaphor for the month. So in this particular spread, I, in the Osho Zen Tarot, I have the cards, the dream, guilt, and the mind. In the medicine cards, I have weasel, butterfly, and otter. In the Mayan Oracle, we have complex stability, unity, and hologram. In the ancient Egyptian Tarot, we have the Nine of Discs, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Discs. In the Aleister Crowley Tarot, we have the Magus, Ruin, and the Knight of Discs. In the Healing Earth Tarot, we have the Ace of Rainbows, the World, and the Three of Shields. And last but not least, we have in the Words of Truth, Peace, Sacred Fun, and Appropriate Place. So when I look at all those cards together, it looks like July is a better month on the whole. Um, a month to enjoy as much as possible because August, the heat might be enough to make a few record books for various reasons. And I don't mean just literal physical heat, but like fires and people getting hot under the collar. And, you know, we always say the dog days of summer and where people get really agitated and irritated and grumpy because of the heat inside of them too. So July seems to be our little breather month and let's take it and roll with it to the best that we can. So while we have peace and joy flowing, let's all take advantage of it and be with family and make some great memories. Focusing on family is helpful because there are still so many confusing things that strain our nerves and challenge our ability to focus. It is clear that each of us is being stretched into shapes intended to expand our awareness into very new and interesting places. Transformations of any kind are surprisingly intense. The quest for unity and wholeness is a powerful motivator to face those places where we just don't want to go. Transformation is the currency we use towards passage into the complex and deeply held secrets of any soul. Every person has a dream. Expect that dream to get picked at by the mind as the ego will always attempt to break down that potential trying to rise up into our conscious mind. The weapon of choice with the ego is most often fear and guilt. This month is a reminder that disappointments come when we have unreasonable expectations of others. While we can want what we want, that does not mean that what we want is even appropriate for our soul's progression. Take a look at what can be done in a reasonable manner, then take the steps towards that goal. All dreams have requirements that allow for that dream to become the reality. All dreams give consequences as those very ideas change the trajectory of our lives. When we focus on one thing and then sometimes we lose focus on other things, this is not always necessary, but change requires us to expand our focus into uncharted areas and will require more of our attention. Those that create great things have an ability to stay on task and focus their attention on big things, but also the small steps necessary to get there. Such a skill can be learned. Everyone has that hidden potential, but this month, why not take the beginning steps towards a new dream and decide to be meticulous in discovering the necessary steps in order to reach it? So, you know, I thought I would do like a little blog here um, since I usually do a blog for my newsletter and um, I wish all great things this summer for everyone. I know that many of us are going through massive changes on so many levels that it is difficult to manage and to keep up with them all. But know that the potential for good things is right there if we are willing to do the necessary steps to change. I know that we are beginning to feel more freedom with the vaccination process, even though there is still dangerous variants that out there that can negatively impact us. And I know that many third world countries are still deeply suffering. And I wish for a world where we can travel freely again. I wish for a place that the guilty feel the pinch of consequence. I know that too many feel that they are victims of circumstances beyond their control, but life is kind of always like this. It is actually the norm. There are many things that we pretend we have control over, but in reality, that is a total illusion. 
We do not always get what we want because what we want can have an energetic cost and consequence that many of us are unwilling to pay. And that's okay if that is not where we are at at this time in life. But perhaps that prompting in our souls knows something better for us. We do not miss out on things because those things that are not there were not necessarily in a plan for this life. Sometimes the echoes from other lives make us want what was rather than what is. Learning to embrace each moment fully and let that moment teach us our next lessons requires trust. Trust in ourselves, trust in the universe, and trust in a process that is beyond our comprehension. So, I wish for the rains. I wish for the clouds. I pray for the pains of those souls in shrouds to find the peace that they so deserve, their ideals manifested, intended to serve. The heat of this world is tied to the anger being released. Out from our core, circumstances have freed a great beast, one that wants to tear out the kindness in the world, one that intended to allow hate to be unfurled. I will not give up my soul to this sort of place where fear and anger replace kindness and grace. I hold a light of peace up as high as I can. I watch the horizon for other lights that so scan. I wish to connect to those hearts that cannot stomach a world of hate. We stand together at a series of gates that will allow passage for all those who intend to change what they believe for what instead will mend. We need to heal a world that has been in too much pain. We need souls who care enough for this earth with nothing to gain. Have a wonderful month, everybody.